the name of the movie is Unleashed. The movie begins with a guy named Danny wearing a collar around his neck. And he seemed to be a very peaceful person when he entered with a gangster named Bart to one of the places. Suddenly, Bart removes the iron collar from Danny's neck and asks him to kill everyone in the place. In a few moments, Danny turns into a very fierce person, and he beats four men and was fighting them hard, and no one could stop him. Bart used Danny as a guard dog, and he used him to threaten people who would lend money and not pay it back. After Danny finished hitting everyone present, Bart comes and talks to the gang leader and he tells him that he had warned him to pay the money on time, so he takes off the gold rings from this person's hand and takes them. Bart exits next, and he put the iron collar back on Danny's neck. After they return to their headquarters, Bart gives the gang members the proceeds of the money and jewelry they obtained with Danny's help. Bart orders his men to clean Danny's wounds. Then they put Danny in an underground iron cage, and he used to live in this cage and had a punching bag to train on. He tore up his punching bag for hitting him viciously. He had a teddy bear and considered him a friend and also had an alphabet book for children. He is thinking of fixing a punching bag with a gauze that the gangsters gave him. He let his wound bleed without bandaging it. On the second day, Bart takes Danny to a gym because he wanted to take money from the owner of the gym, who had a huge person protecting him, but when he saw Danny he ran away from the place. Bart takes the money and goes to the owner of a jewelry store named Raffles. Bart threatens this person and demands that he give him money, but Raffles knew that Danny would be a peaceful person with the collar around his neck and he would become aggressive when the collar was removed. Bart was trying to get to Danny to remove the iron collar from him, but Raffles' men prevented him from doing so and beat him. Danny was just standing there and doing nothing. Raffles orders his men to kill Danny as well after they kill Bart, but Bart finally manages to remove the iron collar from Danny's neck. Suddenly, Danny turns ferocious and attacks Raffles' men. Danny continues to fight Raffles' men and someone noticed this and was impressed by what Danny had done. He also attacked Raffles until Bart came and told him to calm down and stop. Bart takes the money from Raffles, but the person who was there tells Bart that he was impressed by what Danny had done. Then Bart and his men leave the scene. On the way, Bart stops the car and curses Danny for not helping him when Raffles' men were beating him up, and then they head to another mission in an antique store. After they enter this place, Bart directs Danny, telling him that he will put a red light in front of him, and he will go upstairs to take money from the owner of the shop, and he tells him that if this person refuses to give them money, he will turn on the red light and he has to come and help them. Danny has been watching a piano in the storeroom, but Bart tells him to focus. He stands in front of the red light that was placed in front of him and waits for their signal, but he could not resist his desire to play the piano. Suddenly, a blind man named Sam enters and wants to fix the piano. Sam was friendly with Danny, who went back to his place to wait for the red light. Sam asks him to help him fix the piano. Danny learns that Sam is blind, so he decides to help him. He goes to sit with Sam at the piano. Sam takes Danny's hand and places it on the piano and asks him to press the keys. He felt so happy and pressed all the keys of the piano like a child. Sam fixes the piano with Danny's help. He tells him that he was a pianist before he lost his sight, then asks Danny his name. Danny does not answer him. Sam tells him he's glad to meet him and then tells him he heard something behind him. Danny knew Bart had sent him a signal. He gets to them but is too late because he saw that Bart and his men had been beaten up. Bart gets angry with him and tells him that he is just a dog and he has no use and he tells his men to lock Danny in the cage. Then comes the guy who was at the Raffles jewelry store and his name was Wyeth. He tells Bart that he saw Danny's ferocity in the fight and makes a tempting offer to Bart. The offer was for Wyeth to take Danny to a fight to the death to be wagered in a secret location. And he tells Bart that if Danny wins his first fight, he will give him $15,000. Bart agrees. 
Then they go to this secret place that was hidden under the ground. Wyeth shows them the fighter Danny must defeat. Bart removes the iron collar from Danny's neck as he orders him to kill his opponent. He calmly descends into the ring and stands in front of the other fighter. When the match starts, he hits his opponent three times and defeats him easily. Wyeth gives Bart the money, but he was surprised by the iron collar. Bart promises Wyeth that he will get back together with Danny again. Bart is very happy with the money he has made and he tells his men that maybe they will quit their job and go towards betting in fighting matches. Because it makes them a lot of money. Bart asks Danny what he'd like and he tells him he wants a piano. Bart was mocking him but Danny was determined. Suddenly, a truck comes and crashes into Bart's car and his men and then we see Raffles and his men get out of a car with weapons and they shoot at Bart's car and kill those in it and then they run away. Fortunately, Danny was behind Bart and sustained a minor injury. Then he goes to the place where he met Sam and Sam knows about his presence but Danny loses consciousness due to his injury. Sam takes Danny home with him and the next day when he wakes up he finds himself in bed and wearing clean clothes. When Sam tried to enter the room and give him food, he hid under the bed like a child. Sam told him not to worry and that he also used to do the same when he was young and then leave the food for him and go. Then Sam's adopted daughter, Victoria, arrived, but when Danny saw her, he hid from her, but she was very friendly. When Sam told his daughter that Danny loves music, she took a small organ music device to give it to Danny and she told him that this device belonged to her deceased father and she told him that her mother married Sam after her father died and he adopted her after her mother also died then she leaves him and goes out. Sam and Victoria have dinner and then Danny joins them who did not know how to use cutlery so Victoria was trying to teach him. They are having fun together and then Danny tells them his name. Sam tries to find out why he is wearing a steel collar, but Danny is afraid. Sam tells him he is going to take him so they can drive Victoria to school. On the second day, they drive Victoria to school and she bids him farewell and then they go to a supermarket to shop. Sam asks him to help him cook, but by chance he sees a picture of Victoria with Sam on the kitchen door. Sam told him that Victoria's father was his best friend and after he passed away, he married Victoria's mother. And he told him that because of a traffic accident, Victoria's mother died and he lost his sight. Sam asks Danny about his family but Danny tells him that he doesn't know any of his family. He then goes to school and meets Victoria and then they go to a restaurant to eat ice cream. She told him not to tell Sam. After they got home, he would ask them why they were late because he was so afraid for Victoria. By chance, Sam learns that they had ice cream and Danny tells him everything. At night, Sam asks Victoria to go to Danny and find out who did this to him. She goes to him and talks to him and they play the piano together. On the second day, Sam takes Danny with him to go to a supermarket to shop and suddenly two thieves enter and beat one of the workers. But Sam is surprised that Danny was not giving any reaction to what happened and he was not afraid. When they got home, Sam asked him why he wasn't afraid. Danny tells him there is no reason to be afraid because the fight wasn't with him. Sam asked him about the injury he had previously and he told him that he had been exposed to it while he was with his uncle. Danny then spends his time with Sam and Victoria happily and becomes part of their family. Victoria hears him playing a difficult melody and comes to ask him how he learned this melody but he answered her that he did not know how to learn it and he felt that the melody was present in his imagination. She was able to remove the iron collar from Danny. The next day he goes with Sam to fix a piano somewhere. Sam asks him to live with them in New York because the house they currently live in is rented. He is very happy because he has become part of the family and then Sam gives him money to buy something for him. He goes to a supermarket and goes shopping and runs into one of Bart's men who is surprised by what Danny is wearing. He tells him that Bart is still alive and is looking for him. 
He threatened that if he didn't go with him to Bart's, he would kill his new family. Danny actually went with him because he was afraid Sam and Victoria would get hurt. Bart was also surprised by what he saw, and then Danny asks Bart if he knows anything about his mother. But he told him that he had found him on the street as a baby and raised him. He asked him to forget the past and focus on his work. Bart picks him up again to do the fight. Bart asks him not to kill his opponent quickly so that the audience can enjoy the fight. When Bart lifts the iron collar from him, he is surprised that Danny tells him that he does not want to hurt anyone. Bart was surprised and tried to entice him into buying him his most expensive piano if he won, but Danny was determined not to hurt anyone. Bart gets very angry and pushes him into the ring. When he entered the ring, his opponent started hitting him. But all Danny could do was dodge his opponent's blows. Danny had plenty of chances to beat his opponent, but he didn't. The crowd was starting to get bored with Danny's defense throughout the fight. But Danny was persistent in defense. Wyeth introduces three fighters into the ring, so Danny faces four fighters. They beat him, but he continued to defend and refused to hit them. Bart tells him that they will kill him if he doesn't hit them. Indeed, after that, Danny beats them fiercely, and Wyeth increases the enthusiasm in the fight when he throws various weapons in the ring. The fight was very fierce and they started attacking Danny, who managed to beat and defeat them without killing any of them. Danny refused to kill the last person he was fighting, so Bart killed that person with his own gun. Bart takes Danny to the cage and punishes him. Sam and Victoria were saddened by Danny's absence and thought he had left them, not knowing he was with Bart. Donnie gets out of the cage he's been locked in and starts rummaging through old photos of Bart. He notices a picture of him with Bart when he was young and also notices a picture of his mother playing the piano and he knows that she is his mother because he was sitting with her. He goes to Bart and tells him what he saw, but Bart tells him that her mother was engaged in immoral acts and that she, before her death, had asked Bart to raise him. He convinced Danny to forget the past. Then they go to participate in a fight for Danny with one of the fighters. On the way, Bart tells him that they are one family and must stay together. Danny remembers Sam and Victoria, so he attacks the car driver and the car overturns on them, and Danny is able to get out of the car while he was injured. He removes the iron collar from his neck and goes to Sam. He told them that Bart had told him about his mother, but when Victoria saw a picture of Danny's mother, she told him that she was playing at an academy and it didn't seem like she was doing anything immoral. Sam asks her to describe what the academy looks like in the picture. Through Victoria's description of this academy, Sam takes them there. They ask the director of the academy about Danny's mother and she remembers her well and she told them that she was a talented musician, but she suddenly disappeared with her son. When they get home, Victoria is able to use a magnifying glass to see what notes Danny's mom used to play. She starts playing the tune Danny's mom used to play. Danny recalls what happened, and he remembered that Bart came to visit his mother with another person, and he wanted to take advantage of her bad circumstances and make her work with him in immoral acts. But when she refused, Bart killed her in front of Danny's eyes. Bart goes to the supermarket and threatens the employees to tell him Sam's address. Danny and Victoria were trying to take Sam and escape before Bart and his men arrived. When Danny sees Bart coming, he hides Sam and Victoria in the basement of the house. He gets into a fight with Bart's men and manages to beat them up. Bart brought a professional samurai and asked him to catch Danny. Danny is on the roof and Bart's men keep fighting with him. He also manages to hit them and then enters through a chimney hole of an abandoned house. The samurai warrior confronts Danny and can hit him and make him fall out of the window, but Danny can grab a rope. But the samurai warrior cuts the rope with his sword. Then he enters another apartment through the window, but the samurai's opponent was also being pursued, and a clash occurred between them. Danny was able to defeat the samurai warrior and drop him from the window, and he was trying to save him before he fell.
But the samurai warrior falls on the car in which Bart is. Bart decides to go by himself and tries to kill Danny. Bart's men surround the place and shoot him. But Danny manages to climb the ceiling of one of the rooms and tries to return to Sam's apartment. And when he came back, Bart was able to locate him, so he went to him. Bart tells him that he does not want to kill him because he considers him like his own son and that he wants him to be under his control again. Bart tried to put the iron collar around Danny's neck, but he refused, and then he started hitting Bart fiercely, and he tried to kill him, but Sam and Victoria prevented him from killing Bart. Bart was teasing Danny and telling him that he killed his mother and Danny was about to kill him, but Sam hits Bart to stop him from provoking Danny. Then Bart is arrested and then Danny goes with Sam to attend an important piano competition for Victoria. And she played the same tune that Danny's mother used to play before she died. Danny remembers his mother and is happy to have found a new family. And here the movie ends. Thank you for watching.